fundamental unit of life. Telling the basic structure and function units of all living organisms. But all these necessary activities that are required to sustain a normal life, all these activities are performed inside the cell. The cell is composed of different organelles, is made up of different organelles. All the organelles have specific functions that are required to sustain a new, a normal life. So all these uh, organelles constitute the human cell. So these are the first organelle is the Nucleus. Nucleus is located, uh, it composed of the, uh, it contains the genetic material in the form of uh, DNA, in the form of chromatin, and the chromatin conveys to form the chromosomes in the process of cell division. So, nucleus is, the, it is composed of the uh, nucleoplasm, and the nucleoplasm contains the chromatin material and also contains the nucleolus. So, this nucleus is the main part for the storage and it contains the cellular information in the form of DNA, in the form of chromosomes, in the form of chromatin. So these cellular information and these are required. So nucleus, the basic function of the nucleus is that it is involved in the, uh, uh, that it, it gives the information for the metabolism, it gives the formation for the uh, formation of protein and it performs the different functions to perform uh, other activities. So nucleus, it, uh, it is involved in the formation of RNA that are uh, involved in the formation of ribosomes. The other is uh, the Golgi body. Golgi bodies are seven to eight stacks, um, eight, eight stacks, and they are involved in the packaging of food materials. They are also involved in the modification of the protein. The other is the vacuoles. Vacuoles contain the are the fluid are the fluid filled stacks. These contains these are involved in the uh, in the storage of materials, most specifically waste products, and they also contain the glucose, ions, and other materials. The main function of these vacuoles are that they are involved in the maintain the osmotic pressure of the cell, and they're involved in the storage of different materials. The other are the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane that surround the whole nucleus. It gives the protection. To the cell, the plasma membrane is made up of two layers of phospholipid bilayer. It's made up of phospholipid bilayer, and along with the phospho bilayer, phospholipid bilayer it also contains the proteins and it also contains the carbohydrates. And proteins act as a channel of uh, in these membranes, and the carbohydrates that are involved in the interaction and the cognition of the cell. The plasma membrane is also known as fluid modic model and also known as cell membrane. The so plasma membrane it provides the boundary to the cell. It provides the whole cell. It also provides the protection to the cell. It gives shape to the cell. It gives strength to the cell, and it it, uh, it is involved in the passage of materials from inside and outside of the cell. The other organelle is mitochondria. As mitochondria, it is consists of it is a rod shaped elongated organelle. It is composed of, it is composed of two membranes: outer membrane and inner membrane. So this outer, uh, the inner membrane are the foldings known as the Christie. The mitochondria is the it, it is involved in the synthesis of the ATP. It is known as the powerhouse of the cell. So it provides the energy to the cell. The other organelle is cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is composed of microtubules and microfilaments. The cytoskeleton it provides the shape to the cell, gives strength to the cell and it is involved in the interaction of the cell to the external environment and to the other cells. The other organelle uh, you know, are the centrosomes. Centrosomes, they are, located, they are located near the nucleus, but these centrosomes are composed of the elongated tubules known as the microtubules and centrioles, composed of the centrioles, and the centrioles are composed of the mm, microtubules. So these central these centrioles are always uh, the central zone is composed of the two centrioles and two centrioles are always present perpendicular to each other and these centrioles are composed of microtubules and these microtubules are involved in the formation of single fibers during cell division that during cell division um, when the cell divides in the process of cell division then these microtubules are involved in the formation of the Spindle fibers on which the chromosomes are aligned for the process of division. The other organelle is the 
lysosomes. Lysosomes are present inside the cell. They contain the hydrolytic enzyme that is involved in the uh, in, they are involved in the degradation of the foreign substances or the toxic substances. Other is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the medium. It is fluid. It is a fluid uh, in nature. It is viscous. It is composed of the water. It is present water and it is composed of the other particles. The cytoplasm is like a plate that is considered to need to, uh, there is 80 percent liquid and the other organelles, all the organelles of the cell are embedded inside the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is basically provides the medium to the cell in which the, uh, in which these, all these organelles floats or are placed, are embedded inside the cytoplasm. The other is the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum are also the tubular that are, that are extended from the nucleus to the uh, cell membrane. Endoplasmic reticulum are of two types, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, it contains the ribosomes. So these ribosomes are involved in the synthesis in the formation of the proteins. It will synthesize both types of proteins, secretory proteins and membrane proteins. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they're involved in the synthesis of the lipids for the cell membrane. 